Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. In this lesson we will continue to look at trigonometry but our focus will be on solving practical problems. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with this one. See if you can solve it. Trigonometry, practical problems. Trigonometry provides excellent tools for solving everyday problems. Before we solve a few practical examples, two concepts need to be introduced. The first one is the angle of elevation. Now here, let's pretend we have an observer and here is the horizontal line. The observer's line of sight is along this line here. That means the observer is looking in an upward direction. When that is the case, this angle here, theta, is called the angle of elevation. Angle of depression. Here we have an observer again and there is the horizontal. The observer is looking along this line of sight. Now from the horizontal, the observer is looking down. And that's why alpha is called an angle of depression. Trigonometry, practical examples. Now here is a wonderful everyday example. Let's see how we can solve it using trigonometry. The angle of elevation of the top of a tree is observed to be 52 degrees. If the observer is standing 18 meters from the base of a tree, how high is the tree to the nearest meter? Now here we are, this is all the information we need. There's the tree, there's the angle of elevation. The observer is 18 meters from the base of the tree and we have to find the height. Now here's the angle and we have the opposite and we have the adjacent. So tan 52 equals h over 18 which is the opposite over the adjacent. That's why we're using tan. h equals 18 times tan 52 h equals 18 times 1.2799 h equals 23.0392 meters so the height of the tree is 23 meters to the nearest meter now here is another practical example looking at the angle of depression the angle of depression of a ship out to sea as seen from the top of a cliff is 32 degrees. If the cliff is 150 meters high, how far is the ship out to sea to the nearest meter? Here's the top of the cliff. The cliff is 150 meters high. D is the distance of the ship out to sea. Here we have the angle of depression, 32 degrees. Now note, that angle there, there and there, that's 90 degrees. So this must be 58. Because 90 minus 32 is 58. So we use this information, the 58 degrees, the D, and the 150. And that's going to help us find this distance here. So again, opposite over adjacent. So we're using tan. So tan 58 equals D over 150. So D is 150 times tan 58. And if you put this into your calculator, which is very routine, you'll find that the distance is 240 meters to the nearest meter. So you can see how powerful trigonometry is in solving such problems. Here is a quick quiz, very similar to the two problems we just did. So check with the video at any time to help you. What is the meaning of the following? The answer, reverse spin. Little hint for you. I'm sure you'll get that one out. It's not that difficult, is it? 
Here are the answers to the quick quiz, and please check through the video at any time to help you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide, and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.